So your baby is finally teething. Congratulations upon that milestone. However, as you might have already realized, this tends to come with other challenges that might keep you and the baby awake at night. Well, today I'm going to bring you some of the things that you can do to soothe that pain and ease the situation. So before we go into the solutions, what is actually teething? In simple terms, teething is when your baby's teeth start to come through the gum line, usually between the ages of four and seven months. But you should also keep in mind that children are different, just like adults are different, and they follow their own timetable. So if your child does not fall in the category of those whose teeth are developing between the age of four and seven months, you don't need to worry at all. They will follow the same pattern and they come out, but generally that is the time. So since the teething itself happens actually before the teeth show themselves in the mouth, here is how you can tell that your child has actually approached teething. The child might develop excessive drooling and they might also start to chew on objects, especially the hard objects. They might develop some cough. They might also become irritable. And they might also start grabbing or pulling on their ears in addition to the raised temperature, but not fever. Slightly raised temperature. So when you notice these things, then you should suspect that your child is undergoing teething. And this teething tends to bring with it the tenderness of the gums. And this is actually where the problem usually lies. Because the child will start to cry more often than usual. It might disrupt their sleeping pattern, things like that. So here are the best ways that you can actually soothe those gums. The first one is just simple. Rub your baby's gums. Just make sure that you have washed your hands well and then gently rub on the gums. This will actually provide the baby with a relief. In fact, it is advisable that you can dip your finger into something cold and then you use it to apply on the gums. Usually, because if the gums are tender, it means that there is some swelling. And that swelling can cool down by applying something cold, even if it is just a finger. Alternatively, you can also use gauze. You can get clean gauze and wet it. Preferably with cold water, and then you gently apply pressure on the gums of the baby. This gentle pressure is going to ease your baby's discomfort. Something else that you can do is to keep the gums cool. You do this by taking a spoon or a teething ring and then you chill it. When it is cold enough but not frozen, you take it and use it to apply pressure on the gums of the baby. This will also provide the baby with a much desired comfort. However, make sure that you do not dip these things into anything that contains sugar. Because as these teeth are coming out, you don't want them to start by decaying. So once you start using something that you have dipped in the sugar, then you are encouraging whichever tooth is going to come out to decay. So avoid putting those things in anything that contains sugar. If the child is overly irritable and is excessively crying, then you should consider giving the child over-the-counter painkillers, commonly acetaminophen which we call in Uganda as Panadol or Paracetam elsewhere. This will also help with this teething problem because the Paracetamol is also an anti-inflammatory. So it is going to reduce the tenderness of the gums and any pain associated with it will be relieved. Some parents tend to give the child ibuprofen. Well, you can as well give that, but take caution. Ibuprofen cannot be given to children or to babies below the age of six months. But you have to make sure that the child is above six months, then you can consider giving it. Number four, if your child is having diarrhea, fever, lack of appetite, and generally falls sick, 
then this is not related to the teeth. The child needs medical attention. This is not a teeth problem. And this problem should not be confused with what people here call false teeth. In order to find out everything you need to know about false teeth, please make sure that you watch this video here. And I'll see you in the next one.